Hey everybody, thanks for staying connected. Now our next story is about a California beach boy who ended up on the soccer fields of the world. Now playing as a defender for the impact, Heath Pierce is a great ambassador for the team and the sport, as Kelly Gregg reports. Take a look. Away from the bright lights at Saputo Stadium, life as a professional athlete isn't always as glamorous as seen on TV. Just ask Heath Pierce, journeyman defender in Canada, the USA, Denmark, and Germany. At this time last year, he was playing for a different team in a different city. Now, he started over here in Montreal. Uh, getting traded is probably one of the most difficult things I can explain to somebody in the sport. Your world gets flipped upside down in a day and you're, you're no longer living where you were sleeping the night before, you're now living somewhere else and, and for me it's been cross country moves and things like that but you know uh, at the end of the day it's a, it's a blessing to have the job that we have and so sometimes you've got to roll with uh, some of the negatives that come with it. Heath Pierce is used to being on the road. He travels all over North America as a member of the Montreal Impact and he's also played for four teams in the past five years. Now, while bouncing around the league is all part of life for an athlete, it's a part he really never gets used to. It's far from what the, 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 the common um, idea of, of the athlete life is. Obviously, the, this league has come a long way, and it's continuing to make large strides in terms of just the overall quality of everything that's involved with the league. But, you know, we do have long travel days, and, and, and sometimes you're playing two, three games in a week, and you're having to fly across the country and then back across the country again to play a game a couple days later. So it can really take its toll. The offer to play for Montreal came at a critical time for Pierce. He was an all-star with the Red Bulls, but suffered a season-ending hip injury just as his contract expired. And so his journeyman status continued as he was picked up by the Impact. It's a great experience for me. It was a, it was a new opportunity, um, and especially coming off an injury, Montreal showed um, a lot of love for me, and they showed a lot of uh, respect for me and, and trust in, in my ability to come back from an injury, and so it's made my return from injury um, a lot easier. It's a fantastic club, obviously the, the resources put into the club as well as the seriousness and ambition of the club is, is something that I've, uh, I haven't actually seen in some of the other teams that I've played on as well as uh, some of the other places I've, I've, I've played around the world. This season hasn't been easy for Pierce. He started in only 14 of the Impact's 25 games and continues to be plagued by injury. The Impact still continue to sit dead last in the league. Well, it's not always the easiest to deal with uh, injuries and trades and all those kinds of things. But at the end of the day, like I said, you, you go home and you realize that uh, you're doing what most of the kids you grew up with uh, dreamed of doing uh, uh, with you. You know, we used to dream all together of what we were going to be and what sport we were going to play when we grew up. And I fortunately had the opportunity to do that. So you kind of learn to roll with the punches and, and, and you realize that the, uh, the good days uh, far outnumber the bad days. The fleeting nature of an athlete's career also makes Pierce appreciate the constants in his life. Two biggest mentors are my grandfather and my, my, my father. Both of them uh, worked extremely hard for their whole lives to take care of their family. I have more of a, a appreciation for, for the, the blue collar guy than the guy who is blessed with all the talent in the world. <laughs> 